Hola chicos de Converso TV, estamos en San Francisco, California y les vamos a presentar lo mejor del Exploratorium. ¡Acompáñenme! Chicos de Converso TV, ahora estamos en el Exploratorium y nos encontramos con dos expertos, Vivian y Modesto. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you very much. Okay, Vivian and Modesto, could you tell us what do you do exactly here in the Exploratorium? Uh, I run a program called Community Educational Engagement. So I work with a lot of schools. Um, we do family science nights. Sometimes we go to after school programs and we bring the experiments and the projects out into the community to work with the, uh, with the children mostly, but sometimes the children and the parents too. So uh, my name is Modesto Tamez and uh, I work for the Teacher Institute. We are a program where we mainly deal with uh, high school teachers and we educate them in the way of the Exploratorium, which is learning by doing. But uh, uh, most of us, including Vivian, have, wear a lot of hats. So part of our, our, our job is to work with teachers. The other one is to work with young people. The other one is to work with, like Vivian and I work with the hospital. We work with parents. We work with tours. Uh, pretty much uh, anything that has to do with uh, teaching, we're there. think this perception of science has changed through time? Uh, I think that um, for many young people, uh, sometimes science and it is much more common and every day now. I think it's something that I talked to you about earlier um, in the day about technology. It used to be that we didn't like technology so much um, at the Exploratorium because it was too much of a mystery um, in years past. But in recent years, we have more technology because the young people are, they know all about the technology, they know how to use the technology, and it's not so much of a mystery anymore. So you think science and technology is more every day now? I think it's more in the minds of, of all the people. My second love, next to my wife, is the Exploratorium. And the reason why I love this place is because it has to do with an idea that actually came from a man, uh, Frank Oppenheimer, who was actually the brother of Robert Oppenheimer, who was the director of the Manhattan Project, and that many people say he, the, he, Robert was the father, Frank is the uncle of the bomb. Uh, but what was interesting about Frank is that when he came here, even though he was a particle physicist, he didn't want to teach people anything that they couldn't touch, smell, hear, or taste. So what we teach here are things that you can touch, that you can smell, things that the senses can perceive. I love that. If Exploratorium were a person, physical person, what would Exploratorium look like? Or Maybe the Exploratorium would be a one-woman band, but she also built all her instruments. An amoeba. An amoeba. It would take the shape of whatever it needed to do, you know, it needed to do, yeah. So I think it's always changing, morphing into whatever it wants to do. I think an amoeba is probably as good as anything. some high school students working at Exploratorium, what is their, their role? Their role is they run the museum when we are open to the public. Um, they're called the High School Explainers, and that was the first program ever at the Exploratorium. At this time, we are the largest employer of high school students in the city, single employer. And what's interesting, so if you're a 15-year-old student and you come in here and we ask you the question, do you like science? It's, oh, it's my favorite subject. Come with us. And if you ask another student, do you like science? Oh, I hate science. Please come with us. Because what we want is we want a, a really uh, diverse population of people who are passionate about science and people who actually don't like science because I think they'll, they'll get to know each other. And what's interesting, sometimes it, the, what we call science nerd may learn a lot from someone who doesn't like science. So what happens is you have this really great combination of the artist saying, I don't know, what, what is that about? And the scientist says, oh, I don't know either. Let's find out together. And then coming from that phenomenon, I said, maybe we can build something to try to teach people what's going on. This place is just, uh, it's a microcosm of the world. It's not just about science. It's about human beings and what we, we are doing on the earth.
chicos de Conversos TV, esto ha sido todo en el Exploratorium. Esperamos les haya gustado esta visita. No se olviden de seguirnos en nuestras redes sociales. Hasta luego.